welcome back to Blueprint DIY. Angelina here, and today we're gonna do a tutorial to make sling bags. And these two are in leather. These, this one was made from old pants, and this one was made from a piece of leather that my mother thrifted for me um, in Chicago. So um, they're repurposed leather, and you could also use vegan leather or denim or uh, pretty much anything you wanna use, but I like leather, I know it's gonna last, and I don't have to line it. And, um, yeah, this one, the only difference that it, um, the only difference is that it's graphic and I made this one, um, graphic. I'm really into, you know, graphic. I mean, it's, it's a big deal right now. Um, graphic tees, graphic everything. And so graphic and statement bags are really in right now. And so a lot of times I find that like on t-shirts and stuff like that, the sayings don't really... I don't they don't resonate with me and so I like to create my own graphic items because I want something that resonates with me and so um, I was thinking last night before I made this um, cream one um, what I wanted to do what type of graphic I wanted on it I know that they have the ones that have the pow and the bang or whatever on them or lips or stuff like that but I just wanted something that resonated with me and so this is one of my big things um, is to, to always remind myself to stop talking and just do it. Um, you know, people oftentimes spend so much time talking about what they're doing, going to do and then never do it. So I am really trying in my life to just stop talking about what I want to do and just do it. At least try it. So, okay, I'll stop talking and do this tutorial already. Like I said before, the black tote started off as some leather pants. Yes, I do cut up leather pants. There's actually not too many things in my possession that I wouldn't use to make something else. Anywho, this is one whole leg piece of the pants, front and back. I'm going to fold it in half and square it off as much as possible. It actually should be a rectangle, but I just mean make the edges nice and straight. Now I'll take my handy dandy sliver of soap and draw a U shape starting from the folded side, leaving about four inches left on each side. Just make sure your cuts are nice and clean because we're going to leave the edges raw. The length of your U shape will be the length of your handles and what's left under the U will be the purse part, so make your U accordingly. This black one has longer straps but the cream one has shorter straps. Now I'm going to sew along the sides starting across from the bottom of the U shape. If you choose to have shorter straps, then you can start your stitch a little lower than the bottom of the U. Now sew the two sides and the bottom and turn it right side out. Now we're going to tuck the sides in a bit so that the handles are doubled over like a grocery bag. I also added a stitch across the top of each handle to make sure that it would stay folded. And there you have it, a super easy leather tote. I freehanded this so you won't see a tutorial on the um, on the graphic, but it's just lines across. And I just used a big brush to do the, um, the lettering. And this is fabric paint on leather. And it feels like, it really feels like it's gonna stay that I didn't have to, um, go over it with anything i was a little bit worried about it peeling but i think it's going to stay i think it's going to be good oh and if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't want to sew it check out this tutorial of the bag the sling bag that i made for my daughter and it is a no sew tutorial so check that out if you want that same option but you don't want to sew it i made that one out of denim one out of denim and one out of a t-shirt so and you might be able to do it with a thin leather so check that video out for that option and um let me know in the comment section what type of graphic you would put on your purse what resonates with you and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time bye